Hey guys, welcome back to TCG Bros. Today we're going to be doing a pack opening of Destiny Soldiers and one pack of Invasion Vengeance. So, uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, so um, I'll put a time annotation for when to skip to if you really don't care about why I've been gone, but I'll uh, explain a little bit before I get started. Uh, over the last uh, two months, I haven't really been able to upload a whole lot for uh, like a variety of reasons. I mean, right now it's my senior year in college and things are kind of coming to a close. So uh, I've had to figure out a lot of things and just had a lot of stuff going on trying to wrap up my college career. Thankfully, finally ending. But uh, recently, I kind of had to move just uh, mainly... I've been thinking a lot about how much Yu-Gi-Oh actually costs to play, and I feel like for me, buying blister packs and boxes to do openings doesn't really make that much sense anymore, because a lot of the stuff that I'm buying in packs isn't useful for me, so I went to kind of not really buying anything for a while, because to be honest, I'm at it right now doesn't particularly pique my interest. Um, I know Metal Foes and some stuff like that are really good right now, but I just, I'm not feeling that. I'm I'm a fan of the decks that I was already using, like Yosinju and Sylvan and Infernal and that kind of thing. And I know some of them are like garbage in this format, but, you know, I want to play what's fun to me. And, uh, anyway, in Ohio lately... There just haven't been any events, so I'm kind of waiting until January for uh, another Yu-Gi-Oh event to come back into Columbus. And I'll probably end up uh, taking Inferno or Yosinju with some kind of wacky tech in it put in, but I'll test it ahead of time and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open up our blisters, and then we'll do our six-pack opening. So we've got our blister packs open, and uh, also, just as an add-on to what I was saying earlier about... Uh, me not being as active, I just wanted to say thank you guys to everybody who's stuck around through my kind of little my little bit of time of absence. Uh, I'm not going away for good anytime soon, but uh, as far as like upload schedule, I just have to be a little bit slower because right now it's just me on the channel, so not having any help kind of makes things hard on a Yu Gi Oh channel when there's other channels that have. 10 people working on them and going to events all over the U.S. Like, here it's just me, so I do what I can, and I hope you guys can be okay with that. Anyway, Destiny here, Drill Dark. Ooh, the uh, Dark Lord Nurse is in this. I didn't realize that uh, this got reprinted in this set, but like I said, sorry if some of the stuff I say is mega obvious, but I, uh, I haven't been able to keep up with a lot of the stuff going on, but... That's pretty cool. We got the Dark Lord Nurse. Abyss Script. Sorry. And a Secret Rare Banishment of the Dark Lords. I know the uh, a lot of people really like the new Dark Lord support, but uh, in all reality, this set made me a lot of money way before it was even out. Because I had bought a play set of Dual Terminal... Dreadmasters, and I think I sold them for like probably six or seven times what I paid for them. It was a big time profit. A Destiny Hero Decider, Secret Rare. So I'm going to assume everything in this pack at the end is a Secret Rare, which is pretty cool. I, I kind of thought when I bought the Dreadmasters that I had that I might build Destiny Hero when it came out in this set, but I just couldn't get a feel for it, so well, that's not a bad card. Tribute of face up level eight or higher. This would be pretty cool to play in like a blue eyes build or something. I know a lot of people have been asking me like when I'm gonna update the blue eyes deck, but since that video I just can't find anything that I would rather have in that deck. I really was happy with it. So we got a Destiny End Dragon, I think this was a newer card, a Diamond Dude, and a Dark Lord Tezcatpocula. Has pretty sweet artwork on that. Destiny End Dragon looks pretty cool. Like I said, sorry if I think some of this stuff's new and it's really not, but... 
have not been able to keep up the best with this. And these packs were actually on sale at Walmart today, which is pretty cool. I've never got packs for uh, $3.30 a piece instead of 4 Dark Lord Zerato, Dark Lord Marie. That's pretty cool. This comes as a super rare. I think this might have came as a super a long time ago, but that's been around for a long time. Fantasy Magic, Funky Comedian, and a Destiny Hero Dark Angel. That's pretty cool looking. Still not as pretty as, uh, oh, what's it called? Oh, my, not Harpy Sisters. Harpy Dancer. Got a play set of Japanese ultra rare uncensored version. Harpy Dancers. One of my favorite cards. Fires of Doomsday. Veil of Darkness Super. That's an interesting reprint. Uh, Gladiator's Assault Secret Rare. Bought it when it was like $10 as a secret rare and it went down ever since and now I'm sure it's worth nothing. Doomsday Horror, Dark Eruption, and another Destiny Hero, Dark Angel. So, it's pretty cool to see like the all foil packs return. I kind of like it. I know some people don't, but I don't know. I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of impartial to it. I'm, I'm content either way if it's that way or not, but I uh, bought one pack of Invasion Inventions. I've only opened, I want to say, two packs of Invasion Vengeance ever, and it was off camera because, like I said, I've been trying to save money and not buy stuff that I don't need. I just think it's a smart decision, and I would like to spend more money, and I could if I really wanted to, but I just don't think it's smart. So, uh, great old combat. Kimmy Critter Hydron Hawk, Gryson Impact, Chryson Rosenix, Super Koi Koi, and a Sub Terror Behemoth Stygo Kraken, and some other stuff. I never did pull anything good from, uh, I never pulled anything good from the other Invasion Vengeance packs, and I know a lot of people are probably going to think when I'm talking about. Uh, the game kind of being expensive just to buy packs and stuff all the time. I know you can get stuff cheaper if you, like, buy from a dealer or buy, like, bunches of boxes with people. But, like I said, with it just being me and nobody else really nearby me that I can do that, my resources are kind of limited because I'm, I'm just not going to put as much money into the game as I used to because I think it's just... I just don't think it's a smart financial decision for somebody who's like growing up and trying to get ahead in life. I think your money is better off going somewhere else. And that's why I really like programs like DevPro. So I'm probably going to do some deck profiles over uh, the Christmas break, just over uh, some of the decks that I had been using. Might talk a little bit about some of the newer stuff that I haven't really learned up on yet. But uh, anyway. I'm going to scoot these over here. Uh, if you're interested in buying one of our play mats, I put a, a little screen at the end of every video. Uh, you can buy our custom play mats. It has Lady of the Lake, Ancient Sacred Wyvern, uh, myself, and Drake. And on his side, we've got Thunder, uh, yeah, Thunder King and Cyframe Lord Omega. They're like 20 bucks or so on InkGaming.com, so you can pick those up. Pretty soon, probably my next video, I'll be opening up this uh, Pokemon Mythical Collection Genesect. And uh, sometime around Christmas, I'm probably going to end up getting a 3DS XL to start playing Moon and Sun. And other than that, I think for future videos, uh, there may even be some video game stuff that's not trading card game related. Just because I, I want to do things that I enjoy with the channel more than anything. And I don't want to be restricted just to trading card games, even though I know, like, that's primarily what I'm going to do here. I may throw up an occasional, like, Battlefield 1 video of just, like, my best moments and stuff like that, because, to be entirely honest, I'm way better at video games than I ever will be at Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, I just want to have somewhere to put up content that I like, and... Uh, if you don't like one of my videos uploaded, don't worry, because there's going to be like a variety of stuff. So just hang in there. Thank you guys for your support, and I'll see you guys soon with some more videos. TCG Bros, today we're going to be opening up a Yu-Gi-Oh! 
2016 Yugi and Slifer Mega 10. I decided to buy one of these because I noticed they had some really good promos in both of the 10s, really good reprints, a lot of stuff like that. So I thought I'd buy one and go ahead and open it up. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. As I said in my last video, uh, uploads for the TCG Verse channel are going to be slowing down now that